Well, hey everybody. I'm getting ready to do my winterizing on the boat again for this fall. And as you may know from, from some of the past, I tend to like to buy the uh, glycol, propylene glycol antifreeze for the engines that's highly concentrated and then diluted down. I mean, you can buy it at, you know, I, I buy minus 200, you can buy minus 100, you can buy minus 50. Uh, I've been buying the higher concentrations because it tends to get diluted in, uh, as I'm uh, doing the engine. Now hopefully I have that fixed this year, but my tool for doing measurement, one, to make sure that I've got the right fluid, and two, to make sure it's diluted adequately, is I use something called a refractometer. And um, this is actually my second one. I just bought this one about a week ago. Uh, you can buy them on Amazon for like less than $25. And they come with a little kit with um, some pipettes so you can uh, suction up the fluid. Um, it's difficult to get a good camera view inside the end of this and show you the screen. I've got it rigged up so that I can do it through my uh, digital SLR. And so I'll show you what some of these look like. Um, but this one has a screen for battery acid, which you got to be really careful with battery acid. Um, it's got a scale for ethylene glycol and it's got a scale for propylene glycol. And, you know, traditionally with ethylene glycol you can use uh, a tool that's got a float in it. I've got a couple of those. For propylene glycol it's harder to find those. They generally don't keep those things in stock and they cost almost as much as a refractometer. And the way this thing works is you suction up some fluid with this little uh, plastic pipette and you put the droplets here on on the top of this prism and then you close the flap and you work it around till all the dots are, are uh, dots all of the bubbles are out and then you look through the end and read the the value right now all I see is blue the because there's nothing on it um, but what you'll find is a blue line and a white line and where the two lines break is is the value and there's a eyepiece you can change the focus on it and there's a spot here where you can make an adjustment if it gets too far off uh, if for some reason it drifts and you need to adjust it but what I'll show you in a few minutes is um, I have fluid in my um, you know, five gallon bottle here from last year um, I have some fluid that came out of the exhaust system from last year. I have a brand new fresh bottle of minus 200. And then I um, just happen to have on the shelf, I've got a bottle of minus 100, and I've got a bottle of minus 50. The minus 50 has been open for a few years and been sitting on the shelf. But um, the minus 100 is brand new. I'll break the seal on that so that we can take a look at it. Um, the trick to remember with propylene glycol if you're going to use it in you know for, for, for freeze protection is that they rate this as burst protection this tool will give you freeze protection it will tell you where the where the solution starts to make ice crystals and freeze and get slushy the burst part is where the slush turns into something solid and and could break your part and from my study, it says 30 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit is the difference. Uh, in other words, if you have a fluid that says it's got a freeze point of zero degrees Fahrenheit, the burst point is probably minus 40. Um, so typically, if you use this, you, you know you've got extra protection. And because the freeze point would be the most, most um, the freeze point would be the most conservative item. So I'm, uh, as I say, I'm going to pull samples from this and I will show, show you that in, uh, in a few moments here. Okay, so I'm testing my antifreeze for the boat this morning. Just getting ready to do the winterizing. And Here's a picture of my refractometer. It's a little hard to get the whole thing in. I'm 
using my digital SLR with a macro lens and um, it's a little tricky setup. What I have in the in here right now is 200 degree freeze point uh, propylene glycol antifreeze and so I'm going to tip this so you'll see the bottom the the scale on propylene glycol is on the right the water line at 32 degrees that's where you calibrate it for straight water then uh, there's an ethylene glycol scale on the left and a propylene glycol scale on the right and if you tip it and you go all the way up to the top you can see minus 60 propylene glycol on the right and minus 84 on the left for ethylene glycol and you'll see this screen is absolutely clear that's because I have minus 200 and it's absolutely off the scale um, on this one on the left hand side all the way it says battery fluid you could actually do uh, battery acid specific gravity with this this one's calibrated in degrees Fahrenheit so you can see degrees Fahrenheit weight percent and then there's add blue over here um, uh, you could test that fluid as well so this thing's kind of a multiple alright so that's minus 200 and so here just for reference is water and so at, at the current point the tools showing me what 32 or 33 degrees it's it's um, it's not spot on but it's within a um, within a degree or so so that's close enough for me uh, for what we're doing so anyway that's straight water so here's my fresh mix out of um, out of my bottle that's um, I mixed 50 50 water and minus 200 so I've got minus 45 degree on the right hand scale there on uh, that guy right there so we're at about minus 45 so that's fr that's fresh fluid and here's some of what I caught last year out of the engines exhaust and you can see it's about minus 42 which is um, a little lower than uh, what I put in but not bad that's that's uh, what came out so this is from a second bottle that was a catch pan out of the engine exhaust and again it's about minus 38 again pretty darn good I mean I'm it's not going to get that cold I just want to have a good reference and just for good measure this is the last of the three bottles that I collected this came out of the outdrive drain and it's about minus 43 minus 44 so again pretty darn good and very very good for what I need so the first bottle and the third bottle look like they're about a gallon and three quarters so I'm going to fill the engine block with that the other one I'm going to put into the bottle and I'll I'll add some more uh, and mix up a little bit more so that we're we're feeding it good and here's a sample from a bottle of minus 50 which shows plus 10 plus 11 as the freeze point okay and here's a sample out of a fresh jug of minus 100 freeze protection and it's showing about minus 44 which makes sense so I took minus 200 diluted at 50 percent and got about the same as a jug of minus 100 so sounds pretty good and remember there's a difference between freeze protection and burst protection this scale measures when the fluid starts to freeze and you'll get, you'll get ice crystals in the, essentially in it but it won't be solid enough to burst until a much lower temperature so that's pretty good well let me finish blending my uh, five gallon jug and we'll see how that looks alright here's my last sample and you can see it's sitting at about what minus 47 minus 48 
I just mixed a 50-50 jug of um, minus 200 and added it to my five gallon bottle with the with what I added in before so this is what uh, will go into the engine through the earmuffs uh, when I you know I'm gonna go fill the block with the other ones uh, with the, with the other mix and this will be what I feed to the engine uh, for final final uh, final fill minus 48 so now that you've seen the the amount you know I have freeze points freeze points not burst points I have freeze points down around minus 40 so my solutions should be all set for doing the winterizing here on the boat and then when I get done with that I'm going to take a look you know what comes out of the boat and I'll do a drain uh, sample and see uh, how much dilution we got this year compared to before.